It was, was this yours like from when you were a kid or you just... Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Sega's, man, I've had these, yeah, since okay. I was young. And okay. this one, yeah, that oh, was man. Like from when I was a kid, yeah. Yeah, I collected all this stuff back in the day. What is up, Internet? Retro here, and welcome back to episode 26 of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. We are on a quest to build a video game collection, starting off with just 10 bucks to prove that you can indeed still game hunt in today's time, and you can do it on a budget. So two things before we get into this week's footage. This past week, I did not have uh, a new $10 game collection video um, for good reason. I had other priorities in my life, like me and my wife introducing into the world a new sweet little baby. Uh, I have two kids now. I'm kind of freaking out about it, but we are so happy. It is, it is amazing, but that is why there was no $10 game collection video. I just did not have the time to dedicate to it. So that's why you guys saw my top five retro game hunting finds I hope you guys enjoyed that video. And then number two, I have a favor to ask you guys. So I know at the beginning of every single video, I always do my stupid little pitch to hit that freaking subscribe button if you like retro video games or video game content. I kind of have to do that because every single week there are new people that are tuning into the channel. And as a smaller channel in the huge sea of gaming channels, <laughs> Sometimes it is just hard for your videos to be seen, to be viewed, to hit the algorithm, and it just helps out so much if people are subscribed to the channel. So I'm asking genuinely if you guys like the channel, if you like the content, then please subscribe. It would mean so much to me and it would help out the channel tremendously if you did that. We are on the road to 20,000 subscribers, which is insane to even say, but I think in the next month or two, it is possible to hit that. So again, it would mean so much to me. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode of the $10 Game Collection Challenge. Let's get into it. All right, guys, we're back with another update of the $10 Game Collection. Uh, this is my best idea right now. We're just going into the, uh, the hallway, the walk area with these games. So if you did not see last episode, we ended with $142, I believe, in the game fund. This was the big haul last week was all this PS2 stuff. Uh, if you guys missed last week's episode, please go back, check that episode out. Um, I have a playlist if you wanna watch all these episodes and kind of see the whole journey. But $142 and I did sell the Al Pacino, I'm pointing here because that's where it was, uh, the Al Pacino DVD set for I think 25 or $26. And then we just sold this TI-84 uh, plus silver edition for I think 46 or 47 and then the Star Wars DVD set this sold for like 35 34 something like that so um, again buyer always pays shipping and after eBay fees and PayPal fees we net this for a grand total of this in the game fund people have asked me you know how how do you de uh, determine what you sell and what you keep well it's kind of a combination of um, value of items, rarity of items, and what I think needs to stay in the collection. So for instance, uh, GTA, so all this stuff is listed right now on eBay, uh, mostly DVDs. We're not going to keep DVDs for the, um, the $10 game collection because they're not games. So stuff like this, uh, NCA football 11, I don't need that. And it's worth a decent amount. This one right here, this one could be probably argued with why sell this one? Uh, I have it listed for $60. $60 is more, is more valuable to me than this than this game. I just don't think we need this game. So it makes sense in my head. Uh, it might not make sense to everybody, but we are continuing to um, get more games and we always have money in the game fund. So it is working. I know that everyone's not going to agree with what I sell and what I keep, but that's where we're at. So a decent amount of money to game hunt. Let's hunt. So I just found four games all put together. Uh, I'm guessing somebody probably had these in their hand and then they changed their mind, but uh, four really great games, Crash, Nitro Kart. I think all these are complete and in really good shape. Uh, Crash Twin Sanity. We don't have 
any of these for uh, the $10 game collection, I don't think. Well, any of these three. These three crash games. Uh, crash Tag Team Racing. Now these aren't like super valuable, no manual on that one. They're four each. I think they probably all sell for around 10 each or so, but I don't really care because I want these for uh, the $10 game collection. And then this is our third uh, Kingdom Hearts Chain of Memories, which is pretty pretty random, but um, we'll grab this to flip. Again, not, not a ton of value here, maybe like 10 or so, maybe 12, but we have, uh, this is our third one. So all four of these for 16 is pretty good. There are uh, some more games over here. I think here's one. Adventures of 10, 10. And then there were some down here, but nothing worth getting. I don't know why they're priced at four today. Most of the time they're two, but for some reason they are four today. But uh, just a bunch of Wii Fits. Uh, here's two more. Not interested. I'll probably go through all these, make sure that they're the right disc. But, yep, for now, just those. Okay, this is pretty wild. Here is a DVD that I found. I found another one of these when I first started the whole $10 challenge. We Sing in Sillyville. I think I ended up selling it for like 10 to $12. It's $2, and I know I can at least quadruple my money on it, but this one is sealed, which means it's gonna go. It's gonna go for maybe more like 15 to 20. So anytime you find DVDs that are sealed, they definitely go for a premium. So I'm gonna pick this up for two dollars and hopefully get 15 to 20 bucks, cash, cash. All right, guys, I'm at Goodwill right now and found some two dollar games, unmarked games, are two bucks. And dude, I have not found a GameCube game at Goodwill in forever. So, it's a Super Monkey Ball adventure. No manual, but uh, disc is in really good shape. Really fun game. I love, uh, I love this game. There's actually a second one on the GameCube as well, but I think this sells for around, around 20, I think. And then there's some more games, so. Harry Potter, years one through four. None of these are marked, which is good. Here's an Xbox 360 game, Shift 2 Unleashed. Never played that one, but this is a great game. Midnight Club Los Angeles, the complete edition. Not complete, but it's okay. So all of these for, for $8. I'm gonna guess it's probably, uh, I don't know, close to 50 probably in value. So sweet to pick this up for eight bucks. Let's go. All right, guys, you see me walking into Game Exchange at this point. So I've been asked quite a few times to just film some live footage of some of the game stores that I go into. Um, this one in particular is a store that I really like a lot. Um, they have a deal on games uh, for $7.99 or less. Uh, buy two, get one free. So um, whatever the lowest priced value game is, that game is free. So what I'm looking for right now when I'm going through all these games is um, for whatever whatever game I find first that's say it's $4.99 I want to get three games that are $4.99 to maximize um, the savings so right now uh, obviously I'm looking through PS2 games and I'm just trying to find anything that is either a pretty decent deal or that is maybe like a staple that I want to add to the $10 game collection so we're looking around here's some spiral games I knew that these were gonna be out of my $7.99 budget $14.99, these are all eBay prices. I am not gonna pay that um, to add those to the $10 game collection. Here's that Darkest Fairy game that we found uh, a couple weeks ago uh, for a dollar, selling for 13. I think that's a little bit more than I thought uh, it was worth. So again, just scanning, uh, there's a racing game. I don't know why I picked that up. I guess I just had never heard of it or something before maybe. Pitfall, I used to play the crap out of Pitfall on the Genesis. Great game. Well, I don't know if the PS2 game is great, but. So again, just scanning. Uh, right here, I saw a game that I'd never heard of. And of course, it's $32. So I guess a pretty uncommon game if you guys have ever heard of that. Let me know down in the comments. There's that Scooby-Doo game that we found um, a 
couple weeks ago as well. Serious Sam is also a really great game. So here are some Lego games. Well, first here's that Kingdom Hearts game that we keep finding. 10 bucks, I need to sell. I think I have three of those at this point. Um, here are some Lego uh, some Lego games, $5.99. I think there's another one, I think that's $5.99. I kind of thought about that, uh, thought about getting those. Um, I could have got basically, you know, for $12, got three Lego games, but I decided uh, not to do that. So this is the first game that I really was intrigued by. I have never heard of Garfield Lasagna World Tour. <laughs> I've never heard of this before, but it looked pretty cool. But unfortunately, $9.99, it's going to uh, not meet the $7.99 mark to get a free game. So put that back as well. Friends. All right, here's a question. Uh, Friends or Seinfeld? What are you a fan of? I'm a, I'm a Seinfeld guy. All right, looking around. Here are the PS1 games. If I recall, I don't remember seeing anything too, uh, too interesting. There is this game right here, uh, Hugo. I just like the cover art. Uh, this is another game that I haven't heard of before, but I really like the artwork on the front. I thought that was pretty cool. Is Hugo a good game? We ended up putting that back. Not interesting enough. Here is a Men in Black game. Wow, I'm sure that's terrible. <laughs> Didn't know that game existed on the PS1. I see Qbert. I see a bunch of games without their manuals. I will never buy a game without their manual. I can't do it. I just can't do it. So now we're making our way over to the NES games. Uh, right now, again, I'm looking for my first game that is at a certain price point that I can start stacking games at the same price point. So uh, I think right here is when I find my first game that I want to get, and it is Deadly Towers. It's a game I grew up on, not a, you know an incredible game, but uh, we don't have it for the, for the $10 game collection, and that's a pretty decent price. For $4.99, so now I'm looking for more uh, $4.99 games. Jaws is eight bucks, so that's not gonna work. Um, right here is Operation Wolf for $2.99, which is actually a pretty good deal. I thought about making another stack of games at the $2.99 price point um, to get a free game, um, but I did not end up doing that. Section Z, Road Blasters, I believe was $4.99. I thought about that one. Um, let me see. We're just scanning Top Gun. Don't buy Top Gun. I never liked that game. So here is another uh, $2.99 game, MTV Remote Control. But uh, I think I didn't find any more games that were uh, $2.99. Karate Champ, classic. Not as good as Kung Fu, but still. Jekyll is actually a pretty good game, but for $10, not going to work for us. All right, here are the games that I found for $4.99, Deadly Towers. Here's a Capcom game, Trojan, five bucks, and then we'll get one for free. So I found Time Lord for $5. Upside down, awesome, great camera work. I'm a, I'm a professional. So here we are, 1088, what is that, like 350, 360 a game? Not bad at all. So this is a rare sighting. I can't remember the last time I saw a PS1 at Goodwill. Two controllers, one analog, one uh, just regular controller, but for 15, uh, I don't think so. No bonus disc either, but I mean, it's not a terrible price, but not for me, especially since we already have one. But kind of cool to see uh, in today's time. All right, I'm still at the Goodwill where the PlayStation, we just found that PlayStation right there. Um, and there are all these figures. Again, I don't think anything to do with the $10 game collection, but they're all relatively cheap. Um, here's Doctor Strange, 393, uh, Titan Hero series. I don't know a ton about like newer figures. I collect older stuff, but these are all like, this one I think is a little bit more, 494. I don't know, I think I'm gonna pick up some of these. They look kinda cool. There's a Batman one, and down here, there's Ant-Man versus Wasp, 393. Whoops. This Kong figure is 797. Really, really cool. So, 
I might just pick up some of these for, for the collection or resell at some point. Just thought I'd show you. All right, guys, I wanted to show you this pickup real quick. Uh, definitely not video games, but I did go into Goodwill looking for games and ended up walking out with all of these figures for uh, 47.27 which is a really good deal. Most of these range anywhere from 393. Most of them were 393, I think. This one was 292. This big Batman figure was 494. So they were kind of all over the place, but got all of these for $47. And um, again, I went into Goodwill looking for games and ended up walking out with a bunch of value. So this is more just a learning lesson for all of us to educate yourself in more than just one or two things. I used to just know video games, would go into Goodwill, go to the games, not find anything and be bummed out. Now, you know, I've educated myself in small electronics, you know, DVDs and Blu-rays. And now I'm learning more about toys and it just helps whenever you're, you know, again, you're hunting and you're trying to, you know, gain money for your, your collection or if you're just trying to resell on the side. It helps to educate yourself on more than just one thing so you can actually walk in and find uh, additional items to flip so let's talk through these real quick most of these figures over here are all like around 12 to 15 i think all of these um you know retail or sell at about 12 to 15. now over here there's a couple that have some value this one in particular is selling for like 30 to 35 and i think that's the cheapest one on ebay right now um these two up here i don't know uh, if it's because of the unfortunate passing of Chadwick Boseman, man, terrible, amazing movie, an amazing actor, and he just went way too young. Terrible, man. Um, I think these are maybe 20-ish, um, but this is the good one. Doctor Strange. This one is selling for like 60 to 65 new, and I think that's the cheapest one on eBay is 60 to 65. And then I almost passed on this huge 18-inch uh, Kong Skull Island figure these are selling for like i think 50 to 60 and right now the cheapest one on ebay is uh 95 dollars so incredible value for 47 dollars uh, i don't know um total value i'll put it over here but again guys just educate yourself in more than just a couple things and and i think it'll really help so a uh, question of the video since we're talking about toys i want to know what your favorite toy was growing up not video game related just just toys i know some people say that video games are toys that's a topic for another discussion but um for me my turtle figures man i played with my turtle figures all the time you guys tell me your favorite toy that you grew up with on to the next all right guys this is like my fifth goodwill today and i have found absolutely nothing like not even one halfway decent game i mean that's just how it is sometimes unfortunately, but I think I am done uh, hunting today uh, at Goodwill and Flea Markets. All right, we did not have good luck at Goodwill, but our luck is turning around. So uh, on Facebook Marketplace, a post popped up for a Charizard base set holographic. Now, nothing to do with the $10 game collection, but I've always wanted one. Uh, you know, back in the day, I had Blastoise, I had Venusaur, I had all of those but I never got Charizard. Now, this is not the first edition. Those go for crazy money, but it is the original base set Charizard holographic, the one that everybody wants, and it popped up for 35 bucks. Why I'm telling you all this, because um, I'm about to meet that guy right now, but I asked him, of course, like I always do, if he had any video games, and he, he shut me down. He said, no, I don't have any. I have comics, I have toys, but I don't have any video games. And then like 15 minutes later, he, he messaged me again and said, I actually do have a couple Sega Game Gear games, no console, nothing, just five games. And he sent me a picture and it's like X-Men, Power Rangers, Sonic Chaos, Jurassic Park, some great games. And I asked what he wanted. I, I can't remember what he threw out. He threw out like 30 bucks or something like that. Game Gear games are notorious for just not having a lot of value. Um, but regardless, they're still really cool. I said, what about 50 total for the five Game Gear games and the Charizard card? He wanted 35 for the Charizard. So $15 for the Game Gear games, three bucks each. And he said, totally, that's fine. So I'm about to meet him here. Uh, again, the Charizard is not gonna be part of the $10 game collection. It's just something that I've wanted for my personal collection for a, a long time. But $15 deducted 
for the Game Gear games, and we're about to meet him right now. What's up, man? How are you? Good. Doing good? Good. How you doing, man? Doing great. Awesome. Awesome. Was it was this, was this yours like from when you were a kid or you just yeah 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 did? Uh, the Segas man I've had these yeah since okay. I was young and okay. this one yeah that was oh, probably man. from when I was a kid yeah that's awesome yeah I collected all this stuff back in the day yeah for sure and there's the other them all back okay in cool. Box. Dude, my childhood. Awesome. Yeah, dude, I loved playing X Men when I was a kid. I remember that. Dude, where's the Game Gear at? You still have it anymore? The no, actual. That's, I mean, if I do, it might be up in, in the a box or something. Um, and I'll definitely take a look. I am in the process of clearing it out. Sure. Uh, so if I bump across any old yeah, yeah. game stuff, I'll I collect. I collect it all. Yeah. You said fifty, right? Yes, sir. Cool. Yes, sir. Who's that? All right, guys, I got the Game Gear games and the Charizard. Um, let's go through these games first. So I don't know how much these are worth. I don't deal with Game Gear stuff very often, but I'll put like example sold listings. Here is The Lion King. I really enjoyed this game on the Super Nintendo and the Sega. I'm sure it's probably like the same kind of port. Uh, and then these four came with like the little plastic Game Gear cases. Uh, X-Men, they look to be in pretty good shape. Um, next up is Jurassic Park. All, you know, I'm not gonna say AAA titles, but not like crap titles. Jurassic Park. And then uh, Sonic Chaos. Now I don't see, I haven't seen this one that many times. I usually see Sonic 2 anytime I see Game Gear games. It's like always like a huge tub of Sonic 2s. And then Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, uh, just Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. I don't know if there's multiple or not. So let's talk about this card real quick. He said he, you know, this was all his stuff from when he was a kid. Well, uh, in further investigation of this card, he did not get this when he was a kid. So it says down here, well, here, I'll show you like that first. There it is. Looks just like the base set Charizard from back in the day, 99 or 98. But down here at the very bottom, it says 2016. I don't know if you can see that or not. So this is a reprint of the base set card. Um, I looked it up. I've, I'm, you know, been trying to do a little bit more research on it. It's worth about 25 to 35, so I'm not like crazy upset or anything like that. But it is, it is not like the original base set, so I'm still on the hunt for that. I'm not gonna do anything about it. I'm not gonna call him and try to get, try to get my money back. I, I don't care that much. I still think I got a good deal on those Game Gear games, but a little bit of a bummer. I don't know what I'll do with this. I might, I might end up listing this because. Again, I, I would like to get the original, but or maybe I'll just keep this. I don't know. But still, a pretty decent deal on those Game Gear games. And uh, yeah, we'll figure out what to do with this. On to the next. So this was a super nostalgic episode for me, guys. Uh, I failed to mention that I actually grew up with the Game Gear. Uh, I had the Game Boy later on, but the Game Gear is what I had as a kid. Uh, and then that Charizard card, I was brought straight back to the 90s this week. Uh, unfortunately, that's not the original base set Charizard, but still cool to pick up. But I think the real moral of this whole episode was you can't just bank on one item, one or two different things at the flea market. Um, we still got like, I think $150 in value in all of our games. I think we spent 50, so still a great week, but nothing crazy, but we did get all of those figures. I went to Goodwill looking for games, got almost two, what, $250 to $300 in figures for 47 bucks which is amazing. So you guys got to educate yourself in other items as well to buy and to flip, to put back into the game collection. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you would like the video and subscribe if you haven't already. And until next time, peace.